Right now, Republican leaders have reached an agreement on a final tax bill, setting up final votes next week. President Trump dines with Republican lawmakers at the White House before giving a speech at 3 p.m. on the $1.5 trillion tax plan moving through Congress. The Senate and House Conference Committee holds a public hearing on the tax bill at 2 p.m. Lawmakers are expected to be briefed on the consensus deal later on Wednesday, ahead of a final vote next week. Senator Susan Collins, Republican of Maine, said she does not see any reason to delay the votes in light of the Alabama election. House and Senate Republicans tasked with merging the two tax bills have reached agreement on a consensus bill and are expected to put it to a final vote next week. Senator John Cornyn, Republican of Texas, said on Wednesday that members will be briefed on the details later in the day and said he's confident it will pass next week. The looming loss of the Republican seat in the Senate from Alabama adds to the pressure that party members in Congress face to ensure that their tax overhaul faces no last-minute hiccups that push the bill into next year. On Wednesday, they will look to keep the momentum going in the face of Democrats who are feeling newly emboldened. At 2 p.m. the conference committee that was created to merge the House and Senate tax bills will hold its one public meeting. The committee members are a mix of Republicans and Democrats from the House and Senate. The gathering will be one of the final times that Democrats will be able to publicly criticize the tax legislation while being face-to-face -face with the Republicans who are crafting it. Thus far, they have largely assailed the partisan process and argued that the bill benefits the rich and corporations and doesn't do enough to help the middle class. For Republicans, the public meeting is largely for show as the final negotiations happened behind closed doors and the major details have already been agreed upon. Republicans are planning to pass the bill along party lines and have so far rebuffed Democrats' requests to change the bill. The odds remain strong that congressional Republicans will send a consensus tax bill to Mr. Trump, despite Democrats' upset Senate victory in Alabama on Tuesday. The news that Doug Jones, a Democrat, had defeated Roy Moore, a Republican, in the election immediately sent many liberal activists dreaming of another improbable win, blocking the tax bill. Math and momentum fueled that activist optimism. Once M.R. Jones is seated in the Senate, Republicans' majority in the chamber will narrow to a single seat. The tax bill passed the Senate on a 51 to 49 vote, with one Republican, Bob Corker of Tennessee, defecting. The hope among liberals was that Mr. Jones' victory would give other Republicans pause and delay the process of reconciling the bills. That seems unlikely to happen, however. Lawmakers have agreed on the contours of a final deal and an influential Republican, Susan Collins of Maine, said she saw no reason to wait for Mr. Jones to be seated before voting on the tax bill.